So alright guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install and set up Mission Control on your Nintendo Switch. With that said, for those of you guys that have no clue what Mission Control is or does, it's essentially a plugin for the Atmosphere Custom Firmware that will let you utilize and use pretty much any Bluetooth controller you want, as if it's a Switch Pro controller on your Nintendo Switch. To get it set up, it's pretty straightforward. You need to go over to the Mission Control GitHub page, and you're also going to need to have Atmosphere on your Nintendo Switch. As of right now, this Mission Control plugin only works under Atmosphere. This could be on an EMU MMC or installed internally to the Switch itself. It's your choice. I'm going to be setting this up on my EMU MMC because I want to be able to keep my stock side of my Switch stock so that I could play online whenever I want. Now there's been no reports of Mission Control getting people banned, however since it's essentially Switch Homebrew and you're running it as a man in the middle to intercept controller inputs, it might get you flagged, so I recommend just running this on an EMU MMC. So with that all said and out of the way, all you need to do is on this GitHub, scroll down to the release section, click it, then you gotta scroll down again, and just click on the zip. Once you got that downloaded, you can open it up and it will look something like this. From this point, all we need to do is plug our Nintendo Switch's SD card into our computer. Your SD card should look something like this, and it, once you have it open, all you have to do is extract the files from that zip we downloaded earlier into the SD card. This is overall a pretty straightforward process, and just like that, we are done. I can close out of the zip now, and we can safely eject our SD card. If you're wondering to pair any remote you want, you pair it as if it's any other regular Joy-Con or Switch Pro controller on the Nintendo Switch. I'll have some screenshots of the page you need to go to, but essentially you just pair it like you would any other Joy-Con or Switch Pro controller. Mostly everything will work, however, if you want to learn what does and does not, I recommend checking out the Mission Control GitHub page. For the most part, they have a lot, and I mean a lot of controllers that are supported, as you can see here. You can use everything from the Wii controller to the PS4, PS5, Xbox, and so on and so forth. If, for whatever reason, this plugin doesn't work, or you just end up not liking it, you can scroll down here on the GitHub page itself, and they will have instructions for removing this plugin. They will also instruct you on how to install, uninstall it even further, to as have no trace at all on your system. If you want to know what works currently, as well on the GitHub page, it will show the in-progress features. For the most part, everything I would need will work fine. But some of these features you might want, so it might be worth waiting and checking in on this GitHub page every now and then, so that way you know when to update your mission control to get a new feature. But yeah, that is basically it for this video, and to end it off here, I will have some b-roll of me playing a few games, just to show this thing in action. If you're wondering why I would want to do this, or why you should want to do this, well, most Joy-Cons have Joy-Con Drift, eventually they're gonna fail, so why not just use a better controller that's easily available, and probably even cheaper? I mainly set this up so that, just like my Blue Retro devices, I can use one remote across all devices. Overall, it's just a convenient solution, I don't have to get up and manage multiple different remotes or Joy-Cons, I can just pair up a few Xbox remotes and I'm good to go. But yeah guys, that's basically it for this video. I hope it helped you out and maybe you learned something new. If you did, leave a like and a subscribe. But for the time being, I'm going to leave today's video off here now. DTPK signing off. Peace. Little globe. One's more sealed than the other. And I'm assuming the 19 week run time that I had for the standard sized, full sized proto board. It's pretty much a snap fit.